The floor is yours. Thank you, sir. Distinguished members of Parliamentary Assembly, the European Security Order is severely the European Security Order is severely stress tested. Uh, 2015 is likely to be a year of classic geopolitics. Predictability will be an exception to the rule, and foreign policy will be extremely challenging. With hindsight, it seems clear that the crisis in and around Ukraine is a symptom of a larger security crisis that has been emerging over the years without being fully recognized. A striking factor of the Ukraine crisis is the absence of common ground or a shared perspective from which to interpret it. The narratives of East and West diverge in unprecedented ways. This is the big picture. I should like now to zero in on the role of the OEC Conflict Prevention Center and on the situation in Ukraine which requires our immediate attention and action. At the risk of stating the obvious, the crisis in and around Ukraine has dominated our agenda and is likely to do so for some time to come. The CPC found itself in the thick of the developments from the very beginning and has contributed greatly to shaping the OEC's response. Ever since the crisis started to unfold, the Conflict Prevention Center supported the chairmanship and its special envoys on Ukraine. The CPC established and led an internal secretariat-wide task force which was charged with planning and preparation for rapid setup of a field presence and a project on the national dialogue. When on 1940, on Friday 21st March, the Permanent Council adopted its decision on the deployment of a special monitoring mission to Ukraine, I'm proud to say we were ready. By the morning next day, Saturday, 22nd March, an advanced team had started its work in Kiev. Only three days later, the first teams had been trained and deployed to all ten locations agreed in the mandate. At the request of the chairmanship and pending the appointment of the head of the mission, Ambassador Apakan, I was appointed acting head of that mission. In that context, I would like also to recognize OEC Parliamentary Assembly efforts, your strong support for the SMM, and statements by the PA and the President of the PA are very much appreciated. When the Berlin Declaration on the deployment of OEC observers to the Russian-Ukrainian border was adopted last July, we immediately proceeded with establishing this, the newest OEC field presence. Signatories of the Minsk package agreed last Thursday on a ceasefire. As you will know, the SMM was called upon to monitor this fire, uh, to monitor the ceasefire, and Ambassador Apakan will update you on this on the monitoring activities uh, in a minute. Whilst the international community is mindful of creating any new lines on the map of Ukraine, the lines of most frequent ceasefire violations are fairly clear from the data collected by OEC monitors, as well as from other sources. Hot spots include several areas around the communications hub of the Balceva and north of Luhansk. The dilemma that we at the OEC, and especially our colleagues on the ground, are grappling with is this. In the absence of an essential catalyst, political will, what sort of small steps can and should be taken? The SMM will be shortly reaching its authorized strength of 500 monitors. Supported by quite sophisticated technical means, such as uh, UAVs, they will continue to be the eyes and ears of the international community, providing objective information and regular assessment of the implementation of the Minsk package, not just to the AC, but also to the wider public. The SMM, supported by the CPC, representatives of my team visited Kiev more than 50 times last year, will also continue to engage with all actors on the ground, including with members of the so-called DPR and LPR, in order to enable us to operate throughout the entire Donetsk and Luhansk oblasts and with the aim of facilitating local dialogue and agreements. Still, progress at the higher political level is essential.
No amount of small fixes and partial successes will stop the conflict, even if, with full recognition for the efforts of SMM monitors on the ground, they can and do reduce human costs and suffering. Hence, the immediate priority is clear. The fighting needs to stop. Holding signatories of the Minsk package to account and establishing a durable ceasefire are critical. Yet, this is only the beginning. Rebuilding trust and re-establishing the broken lines of communication and rebuilding the economy in Donbas will have to follow. Dialogue at local, regional and national levels can make an important contribution to reconciliation and national cohesion in Ukraine. The OEC, with its wide-ranging toolbox, is well placed and ready to promote such processes in Ukraine. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed about your value.